virtual annual meeting of Berkshire Hathaway. We did an Omaha last year on short notice. We had more warning this time. And uh, so we came to uh, Los Angeles. And the reason we're doing it from here is because of the man on my left. Not because he asked for it, but because all of us wanted to do it with Charlie in, in, in here in Los Angeles. So I'll introduce the three vice chairmen of Berkshire in a minute. I'll show you the first quarter earnings. Uh, we won't take much time on that. I'll have one or two very short lessons for perhaps the new investors who are not necessarily in Berkshire Hathaway, but people who have entered the stock market in the last year. And there, I think there have been a record number that have entered the stock market. I'll, I'll have a couple of little uh, examples for them. And then we'll swing into a Q&A led by Becky Quick, who's looked at thousands of, of uh, questions that have been submitted to her. But more can be submitted during this meeting, and we will put up on camera from time to time the way you can communicate directly with her if you want to send questions in during the meeting. She got flooded with them last time, and uh, she miraculously keeps sorting them out. And uh, so feel free to send, send in a question, and we will have a question period for about three and a half hours. And then we will finally have the annual meeting, which won't take long, uh, at the end. So with that, uh, I would like to first introduce the three vice chairman of Berkshire Hathaway. I'll tell you just a little bit about him, and then I'll have a mild surprise for you at the end, perhaps. Uh, on my left uh, is Charlie Munger, and I met Charlie... 62 years ago, he was practicing law in Los Angeles. Uh, he was uh, building a house at that time, a few miles from here. And 62 years later, he's still living in the same house. Now, that was kind of interesting because I was buying a house just a few months before, 62 years ago, and I'm still living in the same house. So you've got a couple of Fairly peculiar guys, just to start with, in terms of their love affair with their their homes. Uh, and Charlie, Charlie and I uh, hit it off immediately. And uh, uh, I would say he's I, he's probably the vice chairman in charge of culture, among other things. But uh, if I ever want to get questions about where True North is. I talked to Charlie, and he has been an enormous uh, help. He's done it with a lot fewer hours and a lot less talking and everything than I have, but he's contributed in an incredible way to, uh, to Berkshire. So Charlie's been out here in Los Angeles for 60-plus years. Uh, on my right, your left, I have uh, uh, the vice chairman in charge of everything except insurance and investments, Greg Abel. Greg was born and raised in Edmonton, Alberta. He's Canadian, plays hockey, his eight-year-old plays hockey. And uh, he came to the uh, United States uh, sometime after he graduated from college in Canada. And he is in charge of a business uh, which has uh, well over... 150 billion in sales and employs 200 and more than 250,000, probably 275,000 people, and uh, uh, does a much better job at doing that than I was doing previously. And uh, on my far left, you're right. You're right. We have a Ajit Jain, and Ajit was born and raised in India, graduated from college there, and I met Ajit on a Saturday in 1986, and. I'd been in the insurance business, Berkshire had been in the insurance business for quite a while, and I was kind of stumbling around in various ways, and Ajit came to the office, and Saturday I was opening the mail, and, and I said, how uh, uh, much do you know about insurance? And he said, nothing. And I said, well, nobody's perfect, and let's, <laughs> let's uh, talk about it some. And uh, by the end of the morning, I knew I had somebody that was going to build a great insurance business. And starting from that point, this improbable little company 
in Omaha. Uh, they became the largest property casualty company in the world in terms of net worth. It writes risks that it writes risks, uh, writes risks occasionally in, in a 24-hour period that other companies could, uh, simply couldn't take on themselves. They'd have to assemble other people. It would take them a long time to come to a decision. That was very important at various times in the past. It's not so important now. But he's built an incredible, the world's leading property casualty insurance company. So here we have Charlie from L.A., uh, 60-some years. We've got Greg from Canada, 